Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So here I am back once again with a new question for you all in the same series that is your Hanson Fair Python for Machine Learning. So here we are going to cover up a question from your classes and objects or your object oriented programming topic. Okay, let's get started up here. So this question is going to be First of all, I'll explain you what is this question about, how to approach this, right? And uh, then I'll be helping you out with the solution as well for this particular question. That is how it will be. Fine. So my question says that um, I need to write up a Python class to get all the possible unique subsets from a set of distinct integers. Okay. Now see, what is my question about? My question is about that I need to write up a Python class right which is going to give me all the possible unique unique subsets okay just try to make this word very clear unique subsets from a set of distinct integers from a set of different 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 integers i need to get up all the possible unique subsets which i can get in from that if we give you up an example over here just so check out this input which is written up so uh, here it's defined as 4 comma 5 comma 6 right what is that defined so that is your one of the set one of the set which you are giving it now from that i want all the unique subsets so one could be blank other could be 6 one could be 5 one could be 4 right uh, you can even have 5 6 you can have 4 6 you can have 4 5 and the last is 4 5 6 now you can't have 6 comma 4 or 5 comma 4 the reason is that it will be repetitive. My answer will be for only the unique subsets. I only and only want out the unique subsets. Right. So that is the reason I will be uh, taking only 4 comma 6, not 6 comma 4. Right. I hope you are able to understand these things um, in a clear manner. What I am trying to say up over here. Right. So that is what is my particular program that I need to do. So it will again be defined up, this program will be defined up into the three different steps. The very first one will be, uh, you need to define up your own uh, class, your Python class that is being asked to you to, to do in this particular question, right? Second will be uh, the input, so sorry, yeah, second will be that um, you will be defining up the uh, distinct integer set from which you want the possible unique subsets, right? And third will be, you'll be writing up the complete um, procedure for uh, getting up all the possible unique subsets from the integers which you have defined in. That is what all you will be wanting up into this particular program, into this particular question, right? So I hope I'm pretty clear with the same thing. Let's get started up here. So what is being needed up here is that I will be needing up a, a sort of um, one thing and that is first of all defining up of my class. Okay. So I'll be writing class and um, my class name could be uh, UN. Okay. My class name could be UN. I'm going to put up the colon and getting down. See, uh, the IDE which I am using, that's your PyCharm. You can use any IDE of your choice. So, VS Code, Jupyter Notebooks, uh, Sublime Text. You can use Google Collab, Spider, PyCharm, anything. Okay, not a worry. So, yeah, here my class is UN. Fine. Moving further, I will be making a one of the functions, first of all. Right, so that is um, set underscore sub bracket myself will automatically be passed as if you have watched out my previous video the which was which came yesterday so into that only i explained in that if you are making up any function inside the class onto any offline id so pycharm is an offline id right so if you are doing that same particular thing so you will be getting self automatically which will be passed up into your function and if you're using any online IDE like your Google Collab, you need to write that manually, right? So self comma and um, S underscore S, that's my subset. S underscore S, my one of the variables, fine. 
So I'm going to write up the return function. I'm going to return up some uh, value over here. So return it will be like self. Uh, self dot. Okay. Um, I, I, I make up a new function here. R rec set. R -E -C rec set. Okay. I will define this function in a short while. Okay. So rec set is one of my functions. Comma. I just try to sort up my uh, particular at say the set so sort it and into the bracket i have that particular s underscore s variable here i'm going to define up that same function which is uh, i have mentioned up earlier so rec underscore set right so i'm just going to define up that particular function so what i did is simply here is that i simply defined up one of the functions over here set underscore sub Right into that, I just pass in uh, one of the parameters, one of the arguments, s comma s. The name for that argument is s comma s. Um, now I will be returning self dot uh, rec underscore set. This is one other function which I have been defined in. Right, the brackets, and um, I'm going to sort up the s underscore s particular uh, argument which I have passed in. Right, so s underscore s argument. I'll be calling this function afterwards and outside my class, and then I'll be passing in the arguments for the scene. Okay, so that will be done. So inside the self also, I need to pass in some parameters of self. One second, self comma. I am gonna make up one variable curve C U R and uh, s underscore s that same variable which is used above. So if my condition goes if s underscore s. Now I'm going to return up some of the things over here. If this s underscore s condition is true, it means that if something is being passed inside this particular um, argument. So in that particular case, I'll be returning some statements. Self dot. Uh, I'll be calling that rec underscore set function. Now here I'm using the recursion. Make sure, see what I did. I just simply use up this rec underscore set as one of my functions which I have defined. And now when I'm trying to call that same function inside my function. So here I am applying up a method and that is your recursion method. So that my program can become a little shorter and um, much easier to work upon, right? So rec underscore set, I'm just going to pass in that uh, curve variable, which I have defined up above. Okay. So s underscore s and uh, so s underscore s will be small. Yeah. And in the bracket, I'm going to write one colon. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just simply doing the uh, slicing over here. Right. So slicing is that from my first index, I'm just putting up all of the values up till my last index. Okay. Coming out, I'll be adding a uh, self dot. Am um, I now again that same function? I'll be calling that as uh, rec underscore set. Okay, again, I'll be passing up the current CUR variable. Now, this time I'll be adding up the zeroth index and from the first index up to the last index. So it's going to be like brackets s underscore s, my zeroth index comma again s underscore s and it's going to be my first index with the colon first index colon this is the slicing which i have done and it means that from my first index up to the last index of the uh, particular list right so that's done up over here and um, now what I'll, I'll do i'll just try to return the uh, current c u r curve variable Right, because that will only have enough all of my things, right? And now I'm left out with one last thing, and that's the calling of my function so that it could be uh, like uh, giving us a sort of desired output. So first of all, I'll write the name for my class, un dot, and my function which I want to call is um, one second set underscore sum. And inside that, I'll be passing in my subset. Let's say it's going to be four comma five comma six. Okay. 
Now, one thing to make sure over here is that before running a program is that you might have it's necessary for you to write up this particular class name in this article. So, because uh, whenever you are calling up any function uh, which is being defined inside a class, right? So, you need to uh, like pass in up the or uh, you need to use the class name in this article. So I'll run this out over here once and let's see the, the result over here. Uh, okay, one and positional argument missing s comma s. Okay, let me check in what is this s comma s. So sub set underscore sub bracket this and this, this and this and uh, my large bracket. Okay, I, I'm sorry I didn't put up these brackets over here. Right, those were needed in. Let's try to run it up once more now. Uh, okay, so require REC underscore set missing one required position argument is colon S underscore S line number. It is your um, 17, 10, and 14. Okay. Achha, return this S underscore um, return self dot uh, this plus self dot this again. And uh, you have current plus this bracket. One colon, okay, this, this, and then this, this. Uh, okay, one second, this not has to be put up over here. This needed to be put up over here. Okay, done. now let's run it out once again and let's check it out. So here we have the desired output of ours and that is the one which I had showed you above into the particular uh, question also, right? So blank uh, set, then six, five, four. 5 comma 6, 4 comma 5, 4 comma 5, 4 comma 5 comma 6. Now here none of the sets which you were having, none of those are getting repeated, right? And that was what our particular question was. I need to generate up the unique sets from the set which I have been provided. If I try to change in some of the elements, let's say here if I'm just trying to put it up some other or 7, 8, 9. And if I try to run it up once again over here, so see now it's giving me the uh, respective output for those particular elements, 7, 8, and 9. Fine. So yeah, this was a very short program which we did in, but rather it was um, a little bit of uh, more logic was used up into this, right? But uh, the program was quite very simple as it was being seen onto the question it seemed a quite different a quite difficult one but in real it was not at all actually the same thing right it was quite simple and a quite easy program and a quite short program also right so i hope that you might have uh, written this program with me and you might have understood the complete logic what's the manner what's the way for uh, solving out this, these types of questions actually right so i hope i'm pretty clear with the same things so if you have enjoyed the video do like this video do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe out my channel i'll see you in the next video till then thank you and take care